G'day, it's Mr. Bill here again, and um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make a whole melody just out of one MIDI note. So the first step is to highlight a section of MIDI track, press Command Shift M to create a MIDI clip, Command L to loop that MIDI clip, and then double click on it and you'll have your piano roll down here at the bottom. Uh, just double click an analog and that'll drop it straight into that channel. Um, and then what we want to do is go back to our piano roll and just create a big C, I guess, for simplicity. So now we've got this, just a big note. Uh, I want to make it a sine wave, just so it's a nice smooth sound. And I might mesh in a sawtooth with it. Let's turn it down a bit. Yeah, so that should do. Um, so now we've got this one MIDI note and we want to create a whole melody out of it just so we can, uh, it's just a, a completely different way about going about writing a melody rather than writing all the notes in here. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop an arpeggiator before it and I'm going to turn the sync rate to 12 I guess just to make it in triplet feel. Um, I'll mess with the gating option a little bit so the notes are slightly longer, maybe 85%. We'll see how that sounds. So at the moment it's just repeating the note over and over again so we'll turn the steps up to 6 so it just um, keeps going uh, through the same roll of, uh, of six notes. Uh, at the moment it'll just go up the octave because we have our distance set on 12. So I'll move that distance down to seven, I guess, and then it'll be playing the sevenths. Maybe five. And then I'll turn the transpose onto minor, and I'll turn it onto C minor because we have the note as C. I might turn the octave down on these. And then what I'll do is I'll chuck the scale plug in after it. And um, essentially what this does is it takes all your notes and then this matrix, it's uh, 12 by 12, it just represents octaves. And um, <clears throat> these dark gray ones are the black keys on the keyboard and the other ones are the white keys. And if we play it, we'll see all the notes show up here on these orange boxes, they'll flash yellow. So there's all our notes now. Now we can move them around so we don't have to stay in this same key that's happening on the arpeggiator. So I'll just start doing that now. So our second note shows up here. So we can move that anywhere we want. So this is the third note I'm moving now. So this is the fourth note down here. And this is the fifth note. So we've just completely changed the melody that was happening here in the first place and now what I might do is I might make the release a bit longer on the um, envelope. <clears throat> now we can move this note around and we can get really sort of different results. So yeah, that's um, <clears throat> kind of a cool way to get a nice little melody happening. Might create a return track now, and I'll chuck a ping pong delay on it. We'll just have it on uh, three. Uh, make that post, uh, sorry, pre-fader. And then I'll just uh, send a couple of these hits to the delay. So I'll just go to my draw tool by pressing Command-V. So this is what we've got happening in the send now. I might filter out all the low frequencies so it doesn't get as messy. And I might put a redux on it. I'll move that on there so it's a high note. 
mixer. I'm just trying to find a high note. Yeah, that'll do. And I might just compress that a little bit. Just turn my threshold down so it affects more of the signal. with these a little bit more. So there's a note that I want to delay. Just cancel that. Try putting the arpeggiator on sixteenths. Mm, the compression's getting a bit loud now, so I might turn the output gain down to minus twelve. That's created some sort of beep sounds in the background for us. Um, so yeah, hopefully you got something out of that. I'll save this and I'll chuck it up in the tutorials page of MrBillsTunes.com so you can all download it and have a play with this little rack thing. You can also do a few other things like put note lengths in there and stuff like that and make really small notes. Although this is, the release is set pretty long anyway. So you can play around with this sort of stuff and you know all these MIDI effects are pretty cool so essentially the MIDI is just going straight from here uh, into these effects before it hits the synth so you're just kind of creating new ways of writing MIDI to go into your synthesizers. So yeah, um, yeah go to MrBillsTunes.com, have a play around and take it easy.